G'day guys, you're back with Miracle Max. Today we're going to be looking at a regulator off of a Motor Guzzi 1971 model that uh, the customer has a few questions about. What's the testing procedure? I'll show you how to do it. In a previous video, I showed you how to check a generator on a Motor Guzzi 1971 model 750, I think it was, V7 something, something, something. I can't remember it right now. The customer has just given me the generator as well as the regulator. I've tested the generator. I'll put a link up here for you so that you can have a look at that testing procedure. And today we're going to have a look at testing the regulator. Of course, we need the generator as well. So we'll include both of those together to see if the regulator is doing its job. Let's head on to the test bench. Before I connect this regulator, I'm going to have a really good visual, a good look over and just check and see what I find on the exterior of the regulator. You can see that there's been some soldering done here. That was by the customer himself. He stated that uh, it was easier to bolt things on rather than try and find terminals. Fair enough, not a problem. Soldering looks like it's in good condition. But have a closer look down there on the right hand bottom terminal. Can you see what I see? a lot of rust. Now maybe this seal has popped out and it's got water in behind it, I don't know. Um, that'll be one thing uh, if the regulator is not working properly I'll pop the cover off. I want to test it before I pop the cover off and then afterwards and see what's happening inside. So yes I am a little bit concerned about this rust section down here. Figuring out how to wire up this regulator shouldn't be that difficult. I've got a good wiring diagram here including a legend down the side. If we have a look at number 23, it says over here that that is our regulator. So that's this guy over here. We've got a battery power supply over this side. We've got our field winding over here. We also have our light, which comes down to here, but it branches off parallel, goes up to our dash light. So that's our warning light. That's not that hard. And of course, we've got an earth. If we look at our regulator, we have earth, we have our light, we have our field, and we have our battery, basically reversed of what that is over there. So it really shouldn't be that hard. So let's head over to the generator, hook it up, and see if this thing is regulating or not. I've now got all my connections hooked up on my regulator and generator. Now I've got on my regulator over here, I have my positive and negative from a battery downstairs. I also have a globe hooked up here, just, it's just a test light, and that's going from my output here, which is my uh, D positive, which is connected over here. So D positive goes onto this terminal, goes under the D terminal over here. Also, it goes through the light. So once that light is all connected up, um, that should glow. And once we get voltage being produced, it should put it out. Um, and of course, this fella over here, which is my, what's that, F wire, that goes onto my DF over here. So that's my field windings. So I've also got it earthed um, from here down to my battery. I'll connect it up firstly. We'll crank it up once again over there and see what sort of voltages we get, if they're regulated voltages, as well as if that light is going to go out. Okay, everything's in place. As you can see, my light is now on and I have nine volts down here for some reason. Let's crank that up. The light's gone out, and on flat chat, it's 14.5. The light's gone out, 14.6. Something along those lines, okay? We've got 12.8 volts at our battery at the moment, which is okay. We've got our light on. Let's see if we can get rid of that light and what sort of voltages we're going to get. There we go. About 14.7, something along those lines. Now, the thing is, of course, I don't know what sort of speed I'm doing on this thing. I might be doing excessive speed. My generator is putting out enough voltage to be regulated by that regulator. And of course, the light goes out. So I'm happy with those results. So we've now been able to determine that both the generator as well as the regulator appear to be working correctly. It's putting out that warning light. So what's the issue with the customer's bike? I don't know. I'll have to get their bike in here once it's all reassembled to try and figure out why that generator light is staying on. It appears to be working okay on the test bench. 
I hope you got something from this video today, guys, and it's helpful for you. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, give it a like, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget about that notification bell. You don't wanna miss any future videos. So until next time, guys, this is Miracle Max signing off. I will catch you later.